So as we are now, you know, we are currently standing at pretty much the, the forefront of new AI tools popping up everywhere in our personal lives and across industry. And it's been basically impossible over the last year to ignore the impact that it's had on our work processes. This sort of rise of AI has, has not really just revolutionized industry, but significantly transformed the landscape of project management. And whilst we may know that there are tools out there, not much of that discussion actually focuses on the PMO space um, and how it can innovate the way that we work. So today I'm going to take you through Copilot and how it can help to reshape the way PMO and project management professionals operate. So we'll explore the potential of AI um, in enhancing efficiencies, accuracies, and productivity within PPM. Now, I'm sure everyone here has heard the words co-pilot last, in the last year more times than they can count. I certainly have. Um, it is the latest hot topic within the Microsoft stack, and for good reason. Uh, it's already able to interact with so many of your existing tools, just a small subset of which are actually behind me here. So before we move on and start talking about what it can do, I want to do a quick you know, survey of the room, get some uh, interaction going. So let's do a quick hands up or if anyone has used any AI tool at all in either personal or work lives in the last 12 months. So significant amount. And let's go hands up again if you've used Copilot specifically within the last 12 months for work. So again, quite a few hands. So those of you with your hands up, hopefully throughout the slides, you'll learn something new about Copilot and what it can do. And for those of you who haven't used Copilot specifically, hopefully you'll understand how it can benefit you and how you can introduce it to your day-to-day -day work lives. So oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, let's take a quick look um, first off at what Copilot can do. Um, so of course, interacting with many of our tools. Starting off though, we have you know, Copilot acting as a daily assistant. We know wherever you are, you know, assisting users in suggesting content, improving your writing quality, and summarizing information. The access to Copilot is through the, the new Copilot button, which has been integrated pretty much everywhere on Windows devices, as I'm sure you've all seen it popping up, including just in the Edge browser if you're looking for any specific topics, asking questions. But of course, some of the things we're interested in, some of the more specific use cases, we have Word, allows us to jumpstart document creation, quickly drafting content using either prompts that we create or using existing notes and documents. You can ask Copilot to prepare the information for you. Um, for example, you know, within my role, uh, which is quite technical, when I have an idea for a new feature or a new product and I need to produce a business case for that, I can use Copilot, put my ideas and notes into it and it'll help me draft out that document much quicker than I would be able to previously. We also have Outlook. I'm sure we're all very familiar with Outlook. Um, and using Copilot, it has honestly never been easier to catch up on those long email chains that you have to scroll through after you've been away for a week in the sun. Um, you can transform that 30 minutes of reading into very easy to digest, concise summaries. You have Teams as well. Probably one of the most utilized tools in Microsoft 365 Suite. And I would assume almost all of us in here use it on a daily basis especially in the new sort of hybrid working world that we have been in the last few years. You can use Copilot to enhance meetings as a personal assistant, keep track of your meeting minutes, uh, and also really transform the way that you review transcripts and recordings. Of course, Excel, data analysis, I'm sure we're all familiar with. It's been a staple for many years, for many of us, including myself. It allows us to summarize large amounts of data uh, using calculations. Even, I'm sure for some, the primary project plan tool. Um, and don't forget, we are on stand six if you want some help moving away from that. You can already use Copilot in Excel uh, to actually assist with the analysis and modeling. Uh, you even ask it to generate visuals for you based on your data and create custom formulas with Copilot. And of course, my favorite, the latest and greatest one uh, is Planner. Even more introductions are coming later on this year, which actually we're going to talk about near the end of this slide deck. Um, but already, Copilot and Planner is able to generate tasks for you, significantly speed up the drafting of the process of creating a project plan, um, and even generate goals and key risks if you ask for them. So that's just a little bit about what it does. Let's take a quick look at some of the benefits Copilot can actually bring to your business and has already been bringing to many businesses. So following on from our show of hands earlier, see how many people have used the tool, um, we have these statistics here that sort of demonstrate the impact users can expect to see. 
So during Microsoft's early access program, uh, a number of users were surveyed to understand how they were using Copilot uh, and the benefits it was having on their day-to-day -day from you know, meetings to drafting documents. Um, and behind me, just a few of those gains uh, in productivity, quality, and speed from that survey. So starting off, you can see that we have 64% of users spent less time processing emails, making it easier to catch up and focus on the important details. Now, if you actually take a second step back to think about how much of your time you actually spend reading and responding to emails, uh, especially when you may be in back-to-back -back calls for half a day, even a whole day, the time saving here to quickly identify the key bits of information can easily save you hours throughout the week um, and also hopefully reduce the amount of time you may need to spend responding to things in the evenings and even weekends for some, I'm sure. 68% of users mentioned improved quality, you know, focusing on documents and data entry and quality of writing. And I know for a fact that the grammar of some of my colleagues has improved greatly, meaning I can actually understand what they are trying to say to me. And then we have 70% of people incre reporting increased work productivity, and that is across the board, um, not just focusing on emails, but things like automating documentation, getting summaries um, from meetings, and amongst many other things. And whilst I'm sure that we all like analytical statistics, um, Microsoft do like to have fun with this sometimes, um, and I did find one that I found quite interesting. So we're gonna do a little, not a little hash our hands in the room. So, Free lunch versus co-pilot. Uh, so let's have a, a show of hands. Who thinks more than 50% of people would have chosen their co-pilot license over a free lunch every week at work? Couple hands, more than 70% of users. So the actual number from the survey was 77% of users would have chosen to keep their co-pilot license over a free lunch, which to me is quite the endorsement because I, I don't know if you can tell, I quite like my lunch. Uh, so it's really interesting to see some of these statistics in a bit more playful manner as well. Now, just before we move on to talking about uh, AI within PMO, one thing that I found really interesting was some of the top 10 first things to actually try out with Copilot. So some of the things people first try, you have Copilot keeping track of key topics in meetings, that one went off, um, keeping track of key items within meetings, allowing you to stay focused during the meeting and avoid listening to the recordings. And I know me personally, when I'm in a Teams meeting, you know, sometimes I can't focus while I'm taking my notes, so it's really transformed the way I engage during Teams meetings. As I've mentioned, you can quickly get caught up to long, complex email threads. Just click the summarize button in Outlook and it just does everything for you. You can even use it when you're drafting emails and it can help personalize tone and length of the email. So I could say, for example, draft an email for me to uh, one of my project managers or one of my stakeholders that my new project has been delayed by two weeks. Make it short and casual in tone and Copilot will just generate that for me. You can get straight into business by summarizing long documents as well, uh, focusing on just the relevant sections. So I can ask it to give me a bulleted list of key points from a document and it will just generate the key information. You can ask it to provide insight and analysis across multiple sources as well. So if I'm interested in a specific topic or a project, I can say, you know, Copilot, tell me what's new about our migration program organized by emails, chats, and files. And it will give me that information, do all the heavy lifting for me, and tell me what's going on with that. You can even use it to boost your creativity as well with you know, ideas for work such as you know, agendas for meetings, product names, um, even social media posts. You know, sometimes I have a hard time coming up with things, so having Copilot there to be the creative side of my brain is very useful. You can easily jumpstart documents, you know, write and edit with ease, um, getting first drafts for things in seconds, uh, and then just continuing on from there. And even when you vaguely remember someone mentioning something to you, you can ask Copilot to do the research. So I could say, you know, what did my colleague say about the infrastructure upgrades project? And it'll go and find that for me. Revising content as well. So when you've got a rough idea uh, of, you know, a draft, you can turn it into usable text, vary length and tone, ask Copilot to rewrite things you've already written. And lastly, you have translating messages. And you know, with businesses becoming increasingly international, this is you know, quite prudent. So being able to read and write in different languages with Copilot is fantastic. So 
that's just a little bit of an introduction to Copilot and some of the, you know, what it can actually do, some of the benefits to you. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a little bit of a, a deeper dive into more specifics, talk about AI within PMOs and how it can help. So cover the basics um, and some generic use cases. Let's talk up on the screen. You can see a couple of bullet points, just some of the examples which we'll be exploring today. Uh, I'm sure many of you are familiar with these uh, in the room.